Chris 6 News at Noon continues. Welcome back. My guest, Dr. Osbert Blow, in addition to his work with Chris Despawn, and he does a lot over there, he's also a part of the Coastal Bend Regional Advisory Council. Hillary Watt is their executive director, and they're here because they've got information on something you may have heard of. It is called Stop the Bleed. Help me understand this. Uh, is that, it's, it's a free training that we're offering, right? Yes. What's it for? <laughs> it is to uh, teach the, uh, the bystander, um, mm -hmm. anybody who has no medical training, to be able to respond and be what we call an initial responder before mm -hmm. EMS can arrive on scene to help someone who has sustained um, a major bleeding incident, whether that's uh, due to a mass shooting, or a bombing, mm -hmm. or even an everyday uh, you know, injury. Yeah, and unfortunately in the world we live in, those kinds of things are more common. You hate to think about that. Uh, now, if I take something like this and I, I'm trained, is realistically, can I actually help somebody? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, think of this like when in the early days when we started teaching uh, basic life support, CPR. Mm -hmm. This is what this is, the equivalent for trauma. This allows anyone who has received this training to have a standardized method to approach a patient, identify that they have a need, support them during that time after notifying. It does not circumvent first thing, mm -hmm. call 911, then make sure the scene's safe, then go ahead and uh, identify th life-threatening bleeding, mm -hmm. then perform the tasks that you're taught deliberately in this course, and then wait for EMS to arrive. Yeah, now somebody says, well, wait, shouldn't I just wait and just let the, the professionals come in and do their job? Well, uh, that was a thought in the past, yeah. and very much just like in cardiology, that was a thought back then, and what we have found as a um, discipline, the more we can have the community be part of that first responder, mm -hmm. the more likely we are to have a survivor at the end of the continuum of care. Absolutely. Let's talk about the training sessions. How long does this last? Do I have to go all day, or what are we talking about here? There's going to be four sessions mm -hmm. on Thursday, uh, May 23rd, which is National Stop the Bleed Day. Right. Um, we'd also like to thank Judge Barbara Canales. She declared um, Stop the Bleed Day in Nueces County on May 23rd So they also. coincide with the National Day? It's the National, okay. national Stop the Bleed Day, yes. Um, the training sessions are going to be at 8 a.m., 10 a.m., uh, noon, and 2 o'clock on okay. Thursday. So four of them? Four of them. Um, they're at the Del Mar Public Safety Dome. That's at, at Del Mar West. West, right, on Old, Old Brownsville? Yes, sir. Okay. Yep. And do I have to do anything to sign up or just show up? Yes, we would prefer to have them registered ahead of time so we know how many instructors we need. Um, so there's a phone number, 361-929-5401. Okay. Folks, all of that information is on our website. It'll be on our Facebook page later this afternoon. Go there, check it out. Do yourself a favor, favor sign up for the free training. and. Uh, possibly help save someone's life. Thank you both mm -hmm. for being here. Thanks Thank for having you. us. We Thanks. appreciate it.